CLT today for those of us who wave bye and bye. for those of us <laughs> who don't care to wave. So this is a kind of an interesting show, as you might imagine. We have people, foreigners, in our midst here at DTLT. <laughs> Virginia doesn't take kindly to foreigners. <laughs> um, but we have some. But for many of you, these foreigners are familiar. They're familiar foreigners. People I'm used to being taunted on Twitter by or harassed on DS106 from. Or even claim that I'm not listening. It's more fun. But Rowan Peter is really the one who's not listening. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously, we have the great, the great, the great Julia Forsythe, Alan Levine, and <laughs> <laughs> you. Do I need to even introduce <laughs> the introductions necessary? Dr. Garcia, yeah. who is here the one, the in Fredericksburg. Only. With her sporty Keeps ponytail. And, and we're on DS106 TV today. I was listening to the radio. Oh, it's DTLT today. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> she's listening to the radio. To the radio. <laughs> let, me, let me ask you something. It's what I do. Gina. There's some good <laughs> shit going what I on. Do. Yeah, get off the radio. <laughs> <laughs> We've moved forward. Oh, okay. TV. All right. But what's today's show about? What are we going to be dealing with? Today? Today's show, we're going we're gonna to do a little uh, recap of the Bavistock East Coast. Uh, Bavistock, the le- le- sleepless time zone um, experience for the past 24 hours and give a little forecast of what to expect over the next few days. And then we're also going to just give a, a, a sneak peek at what the DS106 radio telethon is going to look like and sound like, more importantly, this coming Monday. Monday, Monday, what Monday. We, what about this chair? Can we speak to this chair for a second? This was your brainchild, so <laughs> let's talk a little bit about the chair. The, the chair, chair The chair represents you. 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 The That's missing, you, the missing man. For, it's you. like the missing man formation. <laughs> <laughs> missing tiny man formation. <laughs> Come on, we're working with what we got here. No, so you'll be sitting here to me. Just imagine yourself in this chair, very on the slim, cuddle couch. On oh, the cuddle couch. Next to me, getting hot. At Bavistock. Yeah. Zach Crazy. said challenge accepted. So like, there you go. It's there on. <laughs> very I'm sweet. clocking him. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> right on. So Jim, what is your um? What is your take on Bob's stock so far? You know, you and I had started ramping up a couple days ago uh, with some really late night casts, and then Alan got here two days ago, no and then uh, Julie right. and I arrived no just audio. yesterday. How do you think things are going so far? I think they're going brilliantly. Um, it's been the right level of debauchery, but also doing some work and hanging out. So it's been a lot of kind of relax, but then at night we ramp it up when we go. And I'm excited for tonight. We did the we did an Italian restaurant. We had a great dinner. Everyone was laughing, went back to the man shed for another four hours or three hours. We went crazy. Yeah. Uh, but then we turned it down around two or three, though you probably kept it running well after that. Mm. Yeah, I watched a little Jaws. <laughs> and then we woke up this morning. Julia had my kids taking pictures around the house, which was great awesome. Great stuff, yeah. His daughter is a great photographer. And, uh, I think it's I awesome. I put him on Flickr. Yeah. Sure. To have all yeah. these people who I talk around about to my family all the time actually in the house. Yeah. And interacting and seeing, you know. Your family is awesome. I love I your mean, family. It's fun to yeah, see your this. Kids yeah. are, your kids are amazing. I'm having a blast. Yeah. So I was laying uh, in, the, in the inside man den on the floor mm-hmm. on an inflatable mattress that was loaned to. That wasn't really inflating that well. Yeah. And so it inflated. <laughs> and this morning I woke up basically <laughs> sleeping on a piece of plastic on the wood floor. <laughs> and so I was kind of dazing in and out of sleep, and every once in a while I'd hear, <laughs> through the door. <laughs> <laughs> Buongiorno. But like really, really little. <laughs> but like, was it a little person? Yeah. Or like, Dr. Garcia. <laughs> <laughs> That's mild. And then it was, yeah. <laughs> and it was like about every half an hour or so. Did you get a hug when you woke up? Cause oh, hugs were he is the gentlest soul that yeah. He is. The first morning I was there, he just kind of so slid sweet. down <laughs> next to the bed of <laughs> me. Hey. I thought it was like, there's a cat on the bed. I think he loves having people over. He's so nice. anything but yeah. shy. Yeah. I mean, he just he's loves good. the whole thing. He's a people yeah. man. And so he's, he's like good. fired up. My kids love this right now. Yeah, yeah. that's good. So we're going to have great. a good time. So tonight we're heading over to Martha's house, and her and her family are hosting uh, an evening of martinis and chili, little Ma- bonfire. Martinis. 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 Bonfires. Me. Music. Little bonfire yeah. scenario. We're going to pick up some marshmallows. This could be the uh, real Bob tonight. Yeah. She, she does live on a farm. She does. This could be where we, you know, get partially naked and dance around a fire or something. <laughs> this could get crazy. Tonight. Like a real campfire. You need to bring a guitar. I got it. 
that. And I'm going to bring my tambourine and rhythm stick. No, they go like this. Click, 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 click. Is that how they go? Well, they don't go chicka chicka I didn't know rhythm stick was really a thing. I it thought really, it was like a, it really is. I thought euphemism. it was an innuendo. <laughs> <laughs> It's weird to think that there's really such a thing as a rhythm stick. Yeah. I always thought it was wow. something else. And so else. when I tweeted, I'm bringing my rhythm stick, <laughs> you're really excited for Jim's you. like, I, I got like, mine right here. You know what? This got crazy. Oh, we're going transgender and everything. <laughs> nice. All right, so let's switch gears now and talk about Monday. I'm Monday. getting excited about Monday, frankly. What's going on Monday? So Tim is out of town, and we know that he is the mastermind behind DTLT to today uh, television and video. Support, he's the technical support. He's the technical support mastermind. <laughs> Comite. He's the mix. He's the technical support. He makes the shit happen. And what we decided in the last 24 hours <laughs> is that the telethon is actually. As we know, it's for the radio station. So the most important thing about the telethon is going to be the sound. So it's actually going to be a telethon on the radio, not the TV. I can't believe there's been a, a disjunction between the radio and TV as soon as you got here. I <laughs> love that. There was like, the radio <laughs> is the little red-headed stepchild. <laughs> I mean, the TV is the red-headed stepchild. <laughs> and here comes the radio. <laughs> I love it. The first child. Gina has become Commandante <laughs> <laughs> right away. So basically what's going to happen is we're going to go on on Monday and we're going to start broadcasting whenever we rally and we are going to stay on the air with the hopes of garnering at least 106, a la DS106 Radio, pledges for money and or other in-kind support for the radio station. Anything you want. Anything you want. And we're hoping that we will receive these 106 pledges by 4 o'clock when we can go on live with DTLT today, announce the pledges, mm -hmm. announce our successes, and then also at that moment show what the swag will be that all of our pledgers will receive from us at some point in the And we'll be entertaining future. you through DS106 Radio and maybe even the TV. Yes, yeah. exactly. Throughout the day. Yes. And so we're kind of thinking about the telethon as more of an old-time radio, where stories will be told, there'll be skits, there'll be singing, dancing, mayhem, etc., through the radio, with some possible glimpses behind the scenes coming to you live on the stream of the video. I like it. Yeah. I think so it's going to be fun. I think we're going to have some tuxedos in here. We're going to have a hypnotist trick, I heard. Yeah, we're going to try some hypnotism. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're going to tell some stories. Try make uh, some stuff. We might even have a special visit from Dr. Oblivion. Hopefully we'll Ooh. have some special visitors. Victim. Victims. I mean visitors. You never know. You never know. That's Anything can happen. Time. Yep. And I think we need to go through the archive because we have oh, uh, DS106 Radio's archivist yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we actually might be able to pull up some archival pieces. Yeah, we have to That'll be And great. actually, the question is, and this is what brought up, um, is how do we go and reach out to the people who are listening or we know who've been part of them and bring them on to the telethon mm -hmm. so you don't really have to worry about calling in as much as we'll be calling you <laughs> <laughs> so we'll you be finding you. <laughs> and as we ramp up to 106 contributions you'll probably um, want to stay by your phone yeah your devices. <laughs> <laughs> or you exactly. might just want to get off the internet on Monday. Right. <laughs> you might want to go, <laughs> unplug. <laughs> <laughs> so, how would you? We know where you work. <laughs> <laughs> we, have, we have people. We actually we're know how to use landline telephones still. <laughs> we're sending agents down the internet. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So in other words, we're not going to expect you to call us. We're just going to expect you to sit back and enjoy the show and possibly win the special privilege and prize of getting called by us and being put on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be calling you. Oh, we're watching you. <laughs> what about this, uh, this alleged Uber archive thing going on? Oh, the dark archive. The, the dark, dark archive. archive. Yeah, what's, yeah. what's the story I don't believe with it, that? man. I'm a little know. bit shocked. No, yeah. It sounds like a rumor. There might be questions. There is some questions that the PST has been taking liberties <laughs> with our, I mean, I, I can't, look, this isn't proven yet. I got some people on the line, but the PST is taking liberties with our freedoms. With our freedoms. Our freedoms. Like what gets recorded, what doesn't. 
Mm-hmm. Well, is it everything? Like I said, there's a dark web. There's a dark archive the that may even be greater than your archive. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the black box of DS106 and Radio. And let's be honest here. If we're going to question the ethics of whoever set up, and there's some question about who did really set up DS106, whether it was Grand Potter or someone else. Well, I, I, was, I heard a rumor that actually Grand Potter is just Nate Soto. There's... I think all bets are on the table right now. Like, Grand Potter might not be a real person. We are going to have to investigate on Monday. But it raises the question also, if the if they are archiving everything we've ever done on the radio, the other question is, what do we do when random people, who won't be named, just archive things that they're listening to at any given time? <laughs> does that raise, and then play it back for you? Does that raise similar <laughs> ethical issues? I don't know. I don't know. Let's listen to the time that you were talking to those students. Okay. <laughs> it's interesting. As an example. I, I, we were speaking last night, and she's like, you know what? I have that whole thing recorded. And I actually <laughs> do want to hear that. Because they turned me on to the whole fuck yeah Turnbull, uh, Tumblr, Tumblr thing. Yeah, yeah, I have that recorded. Because uh, you were telling them uh, that you were the original hipster before it was cool. And I just thought that was so funny. And you were you like, were you're saying that unironically? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> he's really saying that. I was the hipster before it was cool. <laughs> but that's what hipsters say. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Which shows you just how old gold I am. <laughs> Real deal, baby. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Like I didn't even realize I was being ironic. <laughs> you well, were like, "How could you say that and not be ironic?" Yeah, totally. Because if you're a hipster, a real hipster like I was back in the day, uh-huh. you wouldn't follow what the hipsters after you did. No, because that would be copying. antithetical to everything you believe in. It's like I, I, w- I wonder. Well, so the things. the kids who came, you were telling them that you were like the original hipster, and they weren't really buying it. Because they needed to be schooled, they weren't buying it. They built a Tumblr about me. About they you. were buying something. They're buying Jim Groom. They were buying me because I was the original hipster. You understand that? There's, <laughs> this, there's this deep connection. We're not getting anywhere for this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree. No, they were fun, and they're actually in a class that we're gonna have another DTLC Today show about making infographics. Cool. And uh, they're doing that for Jeff McClarkin, the Age of Information class. And they did both uh, Charlie Rocket and Modern Selkies did some amazing um, infographics. That's what I'm really interested in yeah. following that up. Yeah. Did they MacGuffin them? <laughs> yeah, they didn't MacGuffin <laughs> them. They were actually <laughs> real infographics. Nice. So what else? How about you guys? You asked me how I think Baba Stock's going. Alan? Julia, how's Baba Stock going it's as far It's fabulous. Through? I drove all the way down from the north. It got, you know, more deep south as I came <laughs> through the hills. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> and as I, I got further away from Canada, the gas just kept dropping in price. It was phenomenal. Huh? Yeah. Well, I mean, really? drop. Like, it's free by the time you get to Georgia. It was, yeah, they were just, really? you know, yeah. just giving it away, basically. Cool. I heard. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's cheap. That's interesting. Friendly people, lovely town. Virginia's got cheap gas. It does. Yeah. It's coming out of the ground here. Say. <laughs> Bubbling gold. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll say, this, I'll say this about the black box of DS-106 Radio. We will be continuing our conversations about this here, and it is definitely a topic on the table that we're all concerned about. We're on, we're on and, some leads. And, right. and I will be putting my significant amount of former experience working for the NSA to the task as well, to just to see what we can unveil about this mystery. Yeah. I think our freedoms are in jeopardy. I mean, I do believe that. But on another note, I mean, while we're talking about the PSB and possibly uh, some of their egregious, you know, attempts on our freedoms, you might want to also talk a little bit about that music we heard coming out. Wow. Of <laughs> <laughs> what was up with that? If you want to call that music. Yeah, where were it? Was that Grant and Jason? I'm not going to name any names. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> But that was Grant Potter and Jason Tall <laughs> and Nicole was there as well. Oh, and Nicole. they were out um, at a sleepy jazz club playing some sleepy jazz. That was a sleepy cast. It was sleepy. They were leading up to a snore cast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were leading up to a snore cast. We, were, we happened to be um, partying down, so I actually turned off DS106 Radio PST. Wow. You and DJ turned off and, the and radio became the house DJ for our little crew right here. And you lifted it. I mean, and we were dancing did. at that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, we were dancing. Yeah. I, I don't know. There's video. I was on a scooter. Like you might have seen a crowbar <laughs> the in crowbar. action at crowbar. some point. <laughs> That's crowbar right. did come out. Yeah, so, yeah, so we, we had to take it back. The shovel. 
the we reshuffle. had to turn it off and take it back. So I'm very interested to see what the PSC and their co um, colleague from the MSC and his goat <laughs> might or might not be bringing to the table this evening. And just so you know, we've got the Russian mother on our side. On our side. She's in our corner and she's local. Oh, not the Russians. Right. 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 She's, she's in Jersey. She's in Jersey. She's, she's, in, the, she's in the elite sleepless time. Yeah, she she's in the on? EST, and they're probably going to roll in tonight. Yep. Awesome. Damn. Yeah. It's hard to beat EST. Yeah, it is hard to beat EST. It and really now, is. We, now it's like Fredericksburg's the center of the world. It is. The I don't epicenter. Like it, that's not very. The epicenter. It doesn't happen very often. <laughs> the epicenter. It's the epicenter. Of and the that's world. what happens is, is you get a critical mass in one place, and we change the center, and so we become the center. Right, right. like Vancouver was. Exactly. Sorry. Mm. Although <laughs> there's word that the PST is going to sanctuary. Uh, yeah, we don't know. Confirmed unconfirmed. Yeah, unconfirmed. unconfirmed. That's That's unconfirmed word. word. I actually think that little nugget was planted there just to give them yeah. some sort of something to hold on to, some yeah. piece of hope. Remember, you know, it's it's ray of light. Remember, because not you know? not less than a year ago. I remember you and little noise professor cozying up on that PSD for life. I never said that. <laughs> no. Well, no. You probably never said for life because you don't say for life. <laughs> no. For but, I love the PSD. But how does it feel to be over on? I'm a part rebels, of the EST. The, the light side. The elite sleepless time. Oh, so yours is <laughs> Eastern Standard exactly. Time. Exactly. <laughs> so it's only we don't adhere to these, with. like, you know, not these conforming time yeah. things where yeah. we have to go to sleep. No, at some the only point. reason I became EST is when Julia named it that. And I was like, oh, I can get behind that because you can take <laughs> that wherever you go. That's right. So well, for me, the first thing was just, I was just Ontario. Right. I was just, you know, I took the whole province because <laughs> right, I was the did. only one in Ontario. But then mm -hmm. all these other Ontarians came and they're like, oh, am I part of that? And I was like, I don't know. You're not up when I am. So, yeah, no. no. So I'm going to have to be just like the entire <laughs> no. time zone. It's me. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's me and Gina. Right. Ontario <laughs> and does you, take up a lot of space. <laughs> 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 you, Stephen Hurley, and before Gray. <laughs> I only broadcast when it's quiet. I'm, I'm not, I don't take up any space. It's usually just I'm broadcasting to myself, actually. Most of the time. And Darcy. Darcy listens. Because you guys are all sleeping, so. Hey. And or Darcy's you're working. Up? Darcy's at work, and he puts it on, yeah. He yeah. does? Yeah. We have it on. i got to give a shout-out to MST for that. You don't have yeah. it on. I watch. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have it on. We have it on sometimes. <laughs> Evan's birthday is this week. Oh. Happy birthday, hey, Evan. Hey, happy birthday, happy Evan. Birthday, Evan. Now he can play the video for him, and he'll see it. Yeah. Aww. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. <laughs> That's cute. We're going to close this one out, though. Yeah. We can keep the, the thing open. But All we're right, going to keep yeah. that. Is that it? We say everything we want to say about Baba Stock. We talked about the Everything stuff. about the talked telethon. About yeah. Telethon. Stay, stay tuned to the Monday. radio. Monday. CS106 radio. All, radio. Day. All, All day. day long. And for little sneaky peeks of what's going on behind the scenes at the DS106 radio telethon, keep your TV streams open as well. That's right. So take care. BPLT today. Peace. Oh my god, I have to fart so bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>